manager of the month, Chris Powers, at his side's first half performance was unacceptable. With Charlton four down at the break, he's unlikely to retain his crown in March, although Alan Judge's opener was good enough to win any game. Minutes later, Southampton loanee Jonathan Ford added the second. It was to be the first of a quick-fire hat-trick, after Judge had raced clear of the Addicts' defence before teeing him up. An uncharacteristic failure by Charlton to deal with a long ball allowed Knotts in for a third. Jeff Hughes won the initial header, which caused a mix-up between Addicts keeper Ben Hamer and Mac Taylor, which allowed Ford to lob for his brace. Five minutes before the break, it was all over. Hughes delivered the cross, Fort supplied the header to claim the match ball, and Charlton fans headed for the exit. To secure a fifth win in six games under Keith Curl, Knotts had to survive the inevitable fight back, which began within five minutes of the restart. Bradley Wright Phillips scoring with the acrobatics after the setup from Scott Wagstaff. Shortly after, the pair then traded places for the Attic second. Danny Hollands threw ball, instigating the move for Wagstaff to head home for 4-2. It may be back-to-back -back lead defeats for the first time in more than a year for Charlton, but they are ten points clear. This is not an easy place to come. I think you can tell the second half when the crowd got behind uh, got behind Charlton, difficult place. And you need um, you need to be brave. You need to be prepared in the first half to, uh, to get on the ball and play. I thought we did that exceptionally well. The first half will live with me for a long time because for a team in a position we're in. Um, we shouldn't be doing elementary mistakes like that. You know, we've we've been excellent all season. Pride ourselves on our defending and doing the basics right and well, and um, we surely didn't.